be giving you a very quick tutorial on how to brown butter. As we all know, brown butter is very delicious, so you do not have to be intimidated. It is quite easy to make. Browning the butter makes it taste so delicious. It truly brings out the nuttiness of the butter. It just gives it this concentrated, almost sweet and nutty flavor and aroma. You can use brown butter in the liquid state, or you can wait for it to get a little bit cooler, either at room temperature or in the fridge. It will also firm up, so you can use it as both a more solid form of butter or a more liquid form of butter and I will provide the details on my blog post ladolcelisa.com so check out the link in the description box for this recipe as well for further tips and tricks. So I have here one cup or 225 grams of unsalted butter. This is cold butter but it doesn't matter if you're using cold or room temperature butter because we are going to melt it anyway. So I weigh this in grams because it's a lot easier for me to measure all of this cubed butter. And now you can keep a whole chunk or you can cut it into cubes like I do because I find that it browns more evenly. So we're going to take this butter and place this in a saucepan on a medium heat. So once this starts to melt, we are going to be frequently whisking this butter. So just continually whisking this and then it should foam up a little bit and then the foam will eventually turn into light brown specks. Just be careful to watch this because this can burn very easily. You really want brown butter and not black butter, so definitely keep an eye on this. It's quite easy to do, but you really don't want this to burn. It should have a nice and nutty smell and even taste to this, which is why I love putting this in my cooking recipes. So now that it's starting to melt, we're going to just whisk this and continue to whisk. This takes a little bit of time to melt, but once it does, it goes fairly quickly. So a medium to even a medium to low heat once this melts. Continue to stir this with your whisk so that it does not burn before it melts. Just slowly stirring this. You'll see it's going to start turning bubbly in a little bit. That's why I like to actually use a larger saucepan than what you think you'll need. As you can see, it's already starting to foam on the top. The milk fats from the butter are sort of separating. It's going to foam and then the foaming bits are going to be turning brown and sinking to the bottom. As soon as this changes color, you're close to being done. And nearly seconds later, I feel as though we are done. So remove from the heat and place into a bowl. So here is the butter when it's poured out. As you can see, there are some brown bits in there. None of them are black, they're brown, and the butter is this gorgeous amber color. It's almost like a thick amber liquid. It's beautiful, it smells very aromatic. It took only minutes to come together on the stove top. Now you can use this butter immediately for any recipe of your choosing, sweet or savory, or you can let this cool at room temperature for a couple hours or overnight, or you can cool it quickly in the fridge for a couple of hours as well. If we put it in the fridge for a few hours, it will firm up and become a little bit more sludgy and you can keep mixing that in the fridge so that it gets nice and semi-firm, I would say. But if you keep it in the fridge overnight, it will be completely firm. It is all up to you. In my chocolate chip cookie recipe, for example, I use this brown butter and I like it to be a little bit sludgy, so not quite liquidy and not quite firm. This is just a very quick tutorial on how to make brown butter. I hope you enjoyed this very easy recipe and I hope that you'll also check out my blog post on ladolcelisa.com. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye.